Once in a blue moon every 20 years or so, you'll hit an inflection point that people stop thinking about fundamentals and they just start worrying about how much the stock is going up. Jerry Grantham points out that people tend to shift focus from fundamentals to obsessing over soaring stock prices every couple of decades due to the fear of missing out. This excessive bullishness, he says, is a natural human trait. It's time to dive deep into the insights of Jeremy Grantham as he warns everyone about the impending bubble burst and what to anticipate, deflation and a profound recession that could extend into 2024. On August 19, 2023, an article by Will Daniel in Fortune reported, Legendary investor Jeremy Grantham warns a recession is coming and the Fed's rosy forecast is almost guaranteed to be wrong. If you follow financial headlines, you've likely seen recession crop up enough times to believe the economy is already in one. By the traditional definition of two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth, the U.S. hasn't gotten there quite yet. Then again, you never know you've had a recession until it's long past, and about half of Americans think a recession has already struck. Jeremy Grantham also humorously said, I always like to say there's nothing more supremely irritating than watching your neighbors get rich is just irresistible to try and join in. Grantham offers a candid perspective on human behavior in the world of investing. It highlights the powerful allure of wealth accumulation. His observation about the allure of bubbles and the psychology behind them is fascinating and cautionary. He highlights how human nature often drives people to participate in bubbles, even against their judgment. The historical reference to Isaac Newton's involvement in a bubble is a compelling example of how even the brightest minds can succumb to the allure of market exuberance. Currently, Grantham holds a strong conviction about how events will unfold. Now let's make things clear to prepare for the likelihood of deflation and a substantial recession continuing into 2024 as the economic bubble appears poised to burst. The forces work. I suspect inflation will never be as low as it average for the last 10 years, that we have re-entered a period of, of moderately higher inflation and therefore moderately higher interest rates. In the end, life is simple. Low rates push up asset prices, higher rates push asset prices down. Grantham suggests that we may enter a period of moderately higher inflation and consequently moderately higher interest rates. This observation reinforces the notion that economic bubbles are fragile and vulnerable to changes in interest rates. When rates rise, it often signals trouble for inflated asset prices, aligning with the expectation of a looming recession and deflation in 2024. Consider Grantham's perspective as your magnifying glass, helping you see the potential recession and its consequences more clearly. Grantham's viewpoint sheds light on crucial aspects of our economic situation, especially inflation and its widespread effects. As you consider the possibility of a recession extending into 2024, Grantham's insights become even more significant. Grantham isn't entirely on board with the strategies Jade Powell used, suggesting larger economic forces are at play. This makes you ponder the complexity of steering the economy and its potential impact on the duration of the recession. Grantham's track record for making accurate predictions adds weight to his concerns. He's analyzed factors like supply chain disruptions, rising inflation, and global economic changes, showcasing a deep understanding of the situation. His experience handling these complex issues lends credibility to his predictions of a prolonged economic downturn. Now let's hear Jeremy Grantham's take on the current situation. He believes we are currently in the midst of a major economic bubble in the United States. And he also suggests that the tech bubble has largely burst, signaling its potential conclusion. I think we are descending from the 2021 bubble, which was one of the great bubbles. And this should be normally the deflationary pe period, the deflating period, uh, which is a function of uh, will the earnings uh, decline, will profit margins decline, will the economy go into recession, and we will have a recession uh, running perhaps deep into next year, and, a, and an accompanying decline. In Kerry Grantham's assessment provides a valuable perspective on the current economic landscape he describes our present circumstances as descending from the 2021 market bubble, 
a significant event in recent financial history. Grantham raises important questions. Are we heading into a deflationary period? Will company earnings and profit margins decrease? Could an economic recession be on the horizon? These are critical considerations. He anticipates the possibility of a prolonged recession stretching into the following year, accompanied by a decline in stock prices. Grantham's analysis is enlightening and a vital reminder of the need for careful planning and vigilance during these uncertain times. The Federal Reserve has recently expressed optimism about the U.S. economy, suggesting that it has overcome the recessionary challenges and does not foresee another recession. However, Jeremy Grantham brings an intriguing paradox in the Fed's track record. Grantham's insight revolves around the fact that despite being praised for its efforts, the Federal Reserve has a history of making incorrect predictions, especially when anticipating economic downturns following significant market bubbles. Yeah, I think the Fed's record on these things is, is wonderful. It's uh, almost guaranteed to be wrong. They uh, have never called a, a recession, and particularly not the ones following the great bubbles. They prided themselves in, in stimulating the bubbles. They took credit for the beneficial effect of, of higher asset prices on the economy. They have never claimed credit for the deflationary effect of asset prices breaking. He further underscores the Fed's role in forming these bubbles, an overlooked point. Notably, Grantham points out that the Federal Reserve readily claims credit for the positive impact of surging asset prices on the overall economy. However, it fails to acknowledge its involvement in the deflationary consequences when these asset prices inevitably decline. Grantham's perspective encourages us to delve deeper into the intricacies of the Federal Reserve's policies and actions related to inflation and economic stability. It prompts us to consider the potential complexities and shortcomings in the Fed's forecasting abilities and its impact on the financial landscape. Jeremy Grantham's perspective on Jay Powell, the chair of the Federal Reserve, and his approach to handling inflation is marked by skepticism. He hasn't expressed a favorable opinion of Powell's strategies in addressing inflation concerns. According to Grantham, the current inflationary situation isn't entirely within Powell's control, as various economic factors and forces influence it. Grantham's outlook suggests that the era of exceptionally low inflation levels witnessed over the past decade may end. Instead, he foresees a period of moderately higher inflation rates, which would lead to moderately higher interest rates. This anticipation indicates Grantham's concern that the economic landscape is evolving and that inflation and interest rates are rising. Grantham's viewpoint hinges on a fundamental economic principle the inverse relationship between interest rates and asset prices. In simpler terms, when interest rates are low, they tend to boost the value of assets, including stocks and real estate. Conversely, higher interest rates have the potential to exert downward pressure on asset prices. Grantham contends that we are now transitioning into an era where interest rates will, on average, be higher than we've witnessed over the past decade. Grantham's concerns about inflation and interest rates reflect his belief that economic dynamics are changing, potentially impacting asset prices and financial markets. His cautious stance underscores the need for investors and policymakers to navigate these evolving conditions with vigilance and adaptability. Lastly, Jeremy Grantham's commitment to addressing climate change and investing in green technology, even amid potential market downturns, reflects his forward-thinking approach. His concerns about income inequality, climate change, resource scarcity, and population dynamics remind us of our complex global issues, which could exacerbate economic challenges. Despite acknowledging the risks of rapid green investment growth and looming economic difficulties, Grantham maintains optimism about emerging solutions. His message encourages a realistic, proactive investment strategy to address pressing global issues. Grantham's insights from his experiences navigating past market crises and his unwavering dedication to addressing critical global concerns like climate change and inequality provide a comprehensive perspective on the challenges ahead. While his predictions may raise concerns, they underscore the importance of prudent and responsible investing, particularly in the face of potential market upheaval.
Grantham's emphasis on considering broader societal and environmental issues alongside financial decisions highlights their interdependence and the potential for forward-looking investments in green technology and sustainable solutions. As 2024 is fast approaching, it becomes increasingly clear that the global financial landscape is undergoing significant transformations. Grantham's insights remind you that navigating these changes successfully demands a deep understanding of market dynamics and a proactive approach to addressing the urgent global challenges that shape our world. That's it for today. Jeremy Grantham's insights offer a contemplative outlook on the condition of financial markets. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned as I unravel more market secrets and delve into the minds of financial luminaries. Always remember knowledge is a source of empowerment and my goal is to empower you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with the latest insights on my channel.